sweat. Uh, with prayer, I construct the house. But if someone is try to vandalize and demolish, uh, I feel shock it. And I never expect such kind of uh, attitudes and activities from my fellow uh, the, the, uh, the uh, citizens of the state. And I uh, pray to God also not to happen again. And this is the second time. Manipur witnessed another round of violence last night. Reports said that automatic weapons were fired from Kwatka in Vishnupur district and Kangwai in Churachandpur district of conflict on Manipur last night. Police and army sources have said that intermittent bursts of firing were being reported till early this morning. Multiple incidents of mob build-up and attempted vandalism and arson have also been reported. Joint forces of the army, Assam Rifles, Rapid Action Force or RAF and state police undertook a flag march in Imphal East district till midnight. An arson attempt was reported at the palace compound near Advance Hospital. A mob of about 1,000 congregated last evening and attempted arson and vandalism. The RAF fired tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse the mob, in which two civilians were injured. Mob build-up near Manipur University was also reported. 200 to 300 people gathered near Thongju at 10.40 pm and attempted to vandalize the residence of the local MLA. A column of the RAF dispersed the crowd. Another mob last night also attempted to vandalize the armory of Iringbam police station in the Imphal West district. 300 to 400 people tried to ransack the police station at 11.40 pm. The crowd was dispersed by the RAF. According to army sources, a mob of 200 to 300 people surrounded the BJP office a little after midnight at Sinjemai and an army column dispersed the crowd. The mob also attempted vandalism at the residence of state BJP president Adhikari Mayum Sharda Devi in Imphal West at midnight, but it was prevented by the army and RAF. According to army sources, the crowd was dispersed. The attacks in Manipur come a day after home of the Union Minister R.K. Ranjan Singh was burned down by a mob of 1,200 which lobbed petrol bombs. The violence between two communities in Manipur has taken a turn for the worse over the last few days, with the property of political leaders being targeted. The centre is trying hard to implement a peace plan, though the law and order situation presently remains extremely volatile. Sweat. Uh, with prayer, I construct the house. But if someone is try to vandalize and demolish, uh, I feel shock it. And I never expect such kind of uh, attitudes and activities from my fellow uh, the, the, uh, the uh, citizens of the state. And I uh, pray to God also not to happen again. And this is the second time. So now I feel that in first time I anyhow uh, convinced them and security protected the first issue. And that was in, uh, in the early evening. And this time yesterday it was in the late night, about 10.30. And everything is normal. Suddenly crowds of people came and attacked. I was told. Then even the house is fire. The, uh, the fire brigades cannot enter the area, the people's block it. I do not know why, for what reason they are attacking to me. There is no reason in all the process I am preparing to bring the peace, negotiating the central, uh, my senior ministers and colleagues to bring the, uh, the normalcy in the state. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.